In this Moodle tutorial, we're going to start creating questions for our quiz one category question bank. We're going to start with the true false question. So find the settings block and go down to question bank, click on the little arrow, and select the option called questions. To create a question, for your chapter one question bank, the first thing you need to do is select the category. In the drop down box, I have already created the category called chapter one, so I will click to select it. There are three questions to the side about do you want to show subcategories, show old questions, show question text in the question list. Those are all options you can play with and check them if you want to use them or not. For myself, I usually leave them unchecked and then you click the create a new question button. When you do, a new window appears that says choose a question type to add and this one in this particular tutorial we're just going to look at the standard true false question. We'll select by clicking the little radio button next to the question name and then click next. The next screen you will see will say adding a true false question. Be sure that your category, the correct category you want the question to go into is selected at the top. Then enter a name for the question. Um, I think I'm just going to do something simple like say one plus one. My question text and always notice off to the side what the box is expecting. The question text will be one plus one equals three. And I will scroll down. There's more information. The default question grade is one point. You can change it at this point if you want. And it has a penalty factor of one. Basically that means that you have to get the answer correct to get the point, otherwise you get penalized a point. Now next you see boxes about feedback, general feedback, for right now, I'm going to skip right past those, but we'll talk about them later. And underneath the general feedback box is the correct answer. Do you want the correct answer for this question to be true or false? Well, we had said one plus one equals three. That is obviously a false answer. So in the correct answer box, I want to be sure the word false is listed. We have another feedback feedback box, feedback for the response true. We could say we could give some kind of response there. Feedback for the response false, which is the correct answer, and you could say correct. And then as we scroll down farther, there are some tags. Now I've never used the tag, so I'll have to look into this feature, and I can talk about it in a future tutorial. For right now, we will leave it blank and just save changes. And as you can see, in our category for chapter one, we now have a one in parentheses, meaning there's one question in this question bank. And right here is where it appears, the question, the question text says one plus one, which basically gives me an idea of what the question is about. It is a true false question. Notice the two little bullets next to each other. And if you move your mouse over, it says true false. Uh, the teacher is that I'm logged in at is Annie Brown. And I can either check mark this and delete it, or I could move it to maybe chapter two or another category if I wanted to. And that is how you create a true false question. In the next tutorial, we'll look at the ever popular multiple choice question.